lateral x-ray shows that he has a comminuted intraarticular fracture of the distal radius. The dorsal rim and carpus are displaced, both dorsally and proximally. Give him some pain medication until we can get the orthopedic down here to cast it. Thank you. Did you understand any of that? A 12-year-old boy came in after falling off his skateboard. In simple terms, he fractured his wrist. But here, medical professionals have to be very clear when discussing the location of damage or disorder to the body or organs. A standard language is used that describes the exact body structure and location, sort of like a roadmap. Here, let's take a look. Body planes and directions are used as reference points to easily describe certain body structures. To understand this common language, we have to assume the body is in the standard anatomical position. This position is standing upright, facing forward, with arms at the sides, palms facing forward. Body planes are used to describe specific sections or regions of the body. A plane is an imaginary flat surface or line. There are three planes, the coronal plane, the sagittal plane, and the transverse plane. These planes divide the body into right and left, front and back, and top and bottom, respectively. The sagittal plane is a vertical plane. It divides the body into right and left sections. When this plane divides the body into equal right and left portions, it is called the mid-sagittal plane, or the midline. The coronal plane is a vertical plane that divides the body into front and back sections. It is also called the frontal plane. The horizontal or transverse plane divides the body into top and bottom sections. Now, let's take a look at body directions. Directional terms describe the positions of structures relative to other structures or locations in the body. They are grouped in pairs of opposites. Let's start with an easy one, superior and inferior. Think of the head as the superior part of your body. So, superior means upper or above, while inferior means lower or below. Your shoulder is superior to your elbow. Anterior and posterior refer to front and back. Anterior or ventral means toward the front of the body. Posterior, or dorsal, means toward the back of the body. The kneecap is on the anterior side of the leg. Lateral and medial refer to directions toward or away from the midline, or mid-sagittal plane. Medial means toward the midline of the body, while lateral means away from the midline. The terms proximal and distal are used to compare relative positions of parts of the arm or leg. Proximal means closer to the trunk or point of attachment, while distal is away from the trunk. The thigh is proximal to the knee. Understanding the body planes and directions will help you be able to visualize positional and spatial locations of structures. Medical professionals will also use the body cavity approach to identify the location of an organ or structure. Body cavities are spaces within the body that contain and protect internal organs. Naming the body cavity where the organ lies can easily identify the location of organs or structures. There are two main body cavities. The dorsal cavity, near the posterior surface of the body, and the ventral cavity, located in the anterior part of the body. Both are subdivided into smaller cavities. Membranes line these cavities. The dorsal cavity contains organs of the nervous system and is divided into two portions, the cranial cavity and the spinal cavity. The ventral cavity is divided into the thoracic cavity, the abdominal cavity, and the pelvic cavity. The term inguinal, which means relating to the groin, refers to the entire lower area of the abdomen. The peritoneum is a multi-layered membrane that protects and holds the organs in place within the abdominal cavity. The mesentery is a fold of the peritoneum that connects the intestines to the dorsal abdominal wall. 
Comprehending word parts and learning ways to identify the location of organs and structures will give you a greater understanding of many medical terms. For example, the kidneys are retroperitoneal. Let's first break up the word into its word parts. Retro means behind, periton means peritoneum, and eel means pertaining to. Just by breaking the word into its parts, we know the kidneys are located behind the peritoneum. If you remember that the peritoneum lines the abdominal cavity, then you have a good idea of where the kidneys are located in the body. Now let's test your knowledge.